there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce asthma and asthmatic. So asthma has a very strange spelling considering its sounds. We don't say the s sound or the sound of th in asthma. Instead, these three letters say the z sound, asthma. So it's actually simpler to pronounce than it looks as far as how it's written. Letter A in asthma, the first letter A says the A, like in black cat, and it's stressed on this syllable. So the as will be long and the M will be short. In addition to being short, the second syllable has the letter A is an unstressed vowel schwa, which sounds like a. Uh. So stretch on as and then short on M, asthma, asthma. And then when it comes to asthmatic, we change the syllable stress, and now we're stressing on the second syllable, and so the second A will say the A vowel. The first A still keeps its A vowel, but this time it's gonna be shorter and more reduced. So whereas we have asthma, here we have as asthmatic. You might even hear it almost as an E vowel instead, Sometimes in certain words, when the a ah is not stressed, it becomes more reduced and we close the mouth a little more. So I don't have to say asthmatic with a clear a. Ah. It can be asthmatic, asthmatic. So it's still an a ah vowel, but maybe slightly closed and reduced, which will change how the vowel sounds a little bit. The important thing to practice there is stressing on the ma syllable. And one strategy that will help you do that is start with ma. So I would say matic asthmatic, asthmatic. Our final uh, vowel is the i sound. Again, it's a reduced vowel, short and unimportant in that unstressed syllable. And this is an example of a word where we have the, the letter T between two vowels and it's not followed by a stressed syllable. So we use a flap here, which sounds like a light D, asthmatic, asthmatic. Once you can say asthma and asthmatic by themselves, try practicing them in some short phrases just so they come smoothly and naturally to you. For example, um, the children um, suffered from asthma. He's been asthmatic since he was 10 years old. Thanks so much for watching this video, for your comments, suggestions, and requests. You can get more help for all of the sounds of English in our Sounds of English course on speechmodification.com. I walk you through details about the vowel sounds like vowel a, the flap t, etc. And it's a great way to build a strong foundation to pronounce any word you like confidently and easily in American English. That's our Sounds of English course, and you'll find it on our website, speechmodification.com. Look for our other Word of the Day videos on my channel, and I'll be back again soon with another Word of the Day, a Saturday live class, a Monday mini class, a Sunday special class, or a Friday fluency class. You can check out all of the playlists and details on the channel page. Thanks so much for watching and being a part of class today. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye everyone. Hope to see you again soon.